Hi, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home. It's a cold morning and we're out here doing a geotech test. I wanted to kind of go over that and show you really what it is. I don't mess around when it comes to soils. I live in one of the worst places for soils <laughs> you could ever imagine. At the bottom of the alluvial plain, uh, real close to the Grand Canyon, just to the north of me are the Rockies. And I'm in the higher plains of, of a desert area, so I get a lot of the wash off from the Rockies to the north of me just before it goes into the Grand Canyon or into that you know, huge wash basin. So I've got a lot of sedimentary deposit, I've got a lot of collapsible soils, I've got a lot of expandable soils, I got a lot of nightmares. So I don't mess around and I always talk about geology and I want to give you some, some heads up, some things to think about. There's typically two types of uh, geotechnical uh, tests that you can go for. One of them is a backhoe. If they know that the soil is pretty okay, they just want to go and see what the first, you know, 8 to 12 feet are, they'll bring a backhoe in, they'll do a test pit, and then they'll go down, you know, 8 to 12 feet, and they'll, they'll see what the soils are like. Here, I'm on expandable clay, blue clay soil. At least down the street, it's really nasty. A couple of homes had to be demolished. They had to be rebuilt with better engineering to accommodate for the expanded expansive soils. So we've got a drill rig here and we're going down 20 feet with a drill rig to see what the strat is. Now when that happens you have typically two people here. One's the drill rig operator and the other one's the geotechnical engineer. And he's watching that drill go down and if it hits a hard pan he takes a note of it. As the soil's coming up he's taking soil samples, putting them in a bucket to determine really what the strata is like down be, you know, below at, at a certain level. Now keep in mind, there's a difference bet between geology and soils testing. I've had a couple of students over the years, they will, uh, you know, owner builders, and they will call me and say, hey, I've got my soils here, uh, what do I do with it? Well, what, what do you mean by soils report? Well, they would call the university and have the university come and test the soils. That's for agriculture. They'll just come and take maybe a, the top two or three inches and they'll take a piece of that and they'll give them a soil sample of alkali, the iron, and all of that in the soil. That's not what you need. You need a geotech engineer on site to look at the geology down deep, way beyond the roots. And that's what we're doing today is we have the rig operator and the geotech engineer here doing a core sample to test it out. Don't mess around and, and, and uh, with uh, building something with, without this. Some counties don't require it. I don't recommend that. I recommend making sure you know what's down below. In fact, I stress this in my uh, free home site selection checklist, which you can get on my website at howtobuildyourownhome.com. It's at the bottom of the page. In there it tells, before you even purchase the land, ask for the seller to, to give you a geotechnical report. If they want to sell the property and they want to help you with full disclosure, they're going to try to give you a geotechnical report as part of the purchase. If not, you're buying it in the dark. You really don't know what's down below. That's, that's a great way to put it. So this is Keith Kelch trying to give you the best approach to building is making sure that you get a geotechnical report either before you purchase that property but at any time you've got to get this. You've, you need to know exactly what's down below. Now I do know that some areas are just full of granite and full of rock and all that and we understand that but you still need to know what's three feet down, what's four feet down, at least what's 12 feet down so you know how to do your footings. Your structural engineer, they will not know how to accommodate the rebar and the footings and all of that without really knowing the soil and the ge geology down below. It's so very, very, very important. So we're going to go talk to the guys and see how things are coming along. This is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home.